Hi everyone, welcome to Lapis Compass. Thank you so much for being here. Today we are doing a reading for Cancer for the first half of April. We're gonna go ahead and pull several messages, see what comes through for you, what we need to know. Keep in mind, Cancer, not every message will resonate with every one of you, but your message can come through all the way in the end of the reading. Stick around, let's find out what's going on. All right, Cancer, first half of April. What's happening? What do we need to know? What's going on? What's going on? We have perseverance coming out for your cancer. Relationships. And purpose. Look at all this color scheme. A lot of purple here. A lot of spiritual energy around. Let's go ahead and uh, clarify this perseverance and get a bit more information on it. You're working on something very hard. And you know you can do it. And you can. You absolutely can. Oh, look at this. Eight of materials. Definitely working on something very hard or many things actually at the same time. Juggling several things at the same time. Very, very busy, very perseverant. So we have a um, perseverance. We, you're working, like I said, you're working on something really hard. You know that you can achieve things if you work very hard on it. And with age of materials, I do feel that you're almost kind of uh, over exhausting yourself in some way, taking care of a lot of responsibilities. Nine of voices, make sure that your sleep is not affected. Make sure that you don't burn yourself out. That's what I'm getting from this energy here. With night of voices and the tower, I feel like there could be some uh, um, news coming in towards you and I do feel there could be some sort of a uh, news of uh, some sort of um, shake up, either in um, your organization that you're working on I'm getting an energy of restructuring uh, creating new positions in the organization um, deleting some positions in this organization like I feel like there's a lot of restructuring going on and I feel like some people could be let go and some people and that's your energy here are placed in a a position with more position with more responsibilities. I almost feel like at some point you will have to cover uh, the duties of somebody else who's being let go here, or maybe even several people. I do get this energy of more things put on you, but with perseverance, with uh, hard work here, I'm I'm seeing that you'll be able to pull through this, and you're gonna come out of it stronger. That's what I'm getting here. A lot of work ahead. That's that's what's going on, Cancer. Let's go ahead and clarify this relationship. So let's see what that is all about for you. Relationships for Cancer. What I'm getting here, um, Cancer, some of you, uh, you are stuck in some sort of uh, either organization or a big group of people where you don't necessarily want to be anymore. For some of you, I feel like it is in your work. I, I see you being a little bit, uh, um, this energy of being stuck in the um, a work environment that you don't necessarily want to be in. And it's not like it's a negative work environment. I don't see that here. What I'm seeing is that you want to um, go and do something on your own. I feel like you want to be independent. I feel like you want to work on your own. You want to have your own team you want to have your own um, company for some of you here you want to be in charge and this is where you're heading that's what I'm getting for you I'm getting this relationship to, as all, almost kind of ending some relationships here getting out of this uh, big corporate world I'm getting that for some of you very very strongly uh, some of you are definitely getting out of that and although it is a, a little bit risky I feel like you're going to work on your own I feel like you're establishing your own business here you're gathering your own team this is something that you've been trying 
trying to pr bring to life for quite a while here this is something you've been manifesting and it is finally happening for you you're taking that step you're making it happen here independence that's what i see here and hard work paying off and with queen of inspiration again this is somebody who's in charge this is somebody who's in a very strong position in a career and even if it isn't your own business i feel like you are becoming in charge of your own either division or big kind of uh, department here you're getting out of some sort of um, uh, team and you're establishing your own team here that's what i'm getting here a very big success coming up here for you you are definitely uh, getting into a position of power aries can be very significant here for you you have three cards of aries coming out for you here uh, you could have a lot of aries in your chart that's what i'm getting here for you as well but you are becoming in a position of power you're taking on a position of power somebody who can make decisions somebody who's in charge here wow okay cancel let's go ahead and clarify this purpose for you let's see what is that all about Wow, nice. Beautiful. And here you are. Wow, Cancer. First of all, uh, you're coming out here in this reading with that chariot card. This is you. This is your representation, Magi Arcana. But this is also success. This is moving forward. This is your dreams coming true. This is recognition here. I feel like you have some choices to make and uh, you could have been a little bit indecisive. For some of you, this is connected to the message we've seen here where you were going on your own, where you are becoming your own boss, where you're becoming um, in charge, where the spotlight is on you here. And you were a little bit indecisive which way to go, but whichever choice you made here led you to that financial abundance, led you to success, led you to recognition, led you to be in charge of, again, some team of people here. I do see that you are shining very bright here. For those of you who are in some sort of the performance art or your purpose here to be a mentor, to be um, on the stage, to be seen, to uh, it could be something connected to, like I said, the mentorship or a lot of, or some sort of communication. You could be, you know, um, given speeches here. If that's something that you do, a lot of success here for you. That's what I see. The spotlight is on you, people listening to you, people following your lead here. You are a star. You are definitely a star here. And even if it isn't anything to do with the stage or performance or, or speech, I still see a recognition here for you. A, a definite success was whatever you consider your purpose in life is, whatever is it that you do. And uh, for a lot of you, um, there is something to do. It is something to do with communication, with speaking, with um, you know, delivering the messages very clearly. That's what I see. Wow. Okay. Interesting times for you, Cancer. Let's go ahead and move this out of the way. We're going to pull some um, tarot, light series tarot, just see what else we need to know, what other message comes through for you here, Cancer. What else is happening this first half of April? We have Knight of Cups and Knight of Swords. Page of Wands. Page of Pentacles. Five of Cups. What I'm getting here, um, Cancer, for, uh, this is for, uh, for those of you when it comes to romantic relationships. So if you are in some sort of a complicated romantic, romantic situation, I see you kind of worried about it. What I'm getting here is that you have several options. I do feel that you have two options right here in front of you that are coming into your energy there could be a fire sign and your earth sign here very much interested in you both very useful energies both very um you know light-hearted energies i do feel positivity from them i see uh, pure intentions and i feel like you're already getting this into uh, in your energy you already see these options here they already um um ex they already uh, told you about their interest in you they made it known basically but what i see you doing is kind of thinking about some past and uh, this is why there is this nine of swords here you're kind of anxious you think about the past although you see already this new people coming into your life and like i said there are specifically two options um, that are very persistent and very much interested in you you are thinking about the past there is somebody from the past here that could have hurt you there could have been a relationship that didn't work out here and is still linked in your energy it could have been another water sign just like you this person could have been quite romantic they could have been uh, like this um, a person who um, 
it just um, kind of ignited the romance in you. You almost feel like this person was romancing you every day, you know, very uh, caring person, very good with their words, very uh, loving in a way, but it felt like, you know, like the person who um, just a very romantic soul, a very romantic soul. And I feel like you had the same love language. That's what that's what I'm getting here. And um, I do feel that that relationship didn't work out, but you're still thinking about it. Do know that you have two very good options right in front of you here. And it's up to you to make the choice. Are you going to be still reminiscing about the past? Or are you going to open up to this new beautiful energy that is right in front of you? I see you thinking about it. I see you being a little bit anxious. You're kind of indecisive here cancer that's what i'm getting from you all right okay well let's go ahead and see what else we can get for you let's uh, pull some uh, coffee cup oracle cards and see what else we need to know for the first half of april for cancer what's going on wow we have whale energy coming out for you we have dolphins and gazelle. Is there another one? Ah, okay. Oh, okay. So these are connected. And we have, wow, okay. All right. Ken, so what I'm getting here for you is um, some of you could be definitely learning something uh, um, here. There is some information that is coming your way. For some of you, this is something about your home. For some of you, this is something about the maintenance in your home. Something that maybe um, is coming out here. I'm getting plumbing system, something in your home. You might even have to um, either relocate for a certain period of time while the repairs are being done i'm getting something like that i'm getting something that was kind of a hidden issue for a while but because it was hidden like you couldn't see it it feels to me like this is something that you'll have to be fixing now uh, this is coming out this is something that is now in a um you know in a known here for some of you i'm also getting this energy of uh, some sort of um, secrets about the family coming out, family secrets coming out. And I'm talking about generational secrets. I'm getting about something about the generations way before you. I'm getting that you're learning something about your family here. Like I said, uh, some secrets coming out here. But the Six of Pentacles, I feel like this is something you can trust. I, see, I feel like this information is, is kind of almost bringing things into place and uh, bringing some clarity, some needed clarity about whatever it is that uh, you were doubting regarding your family here. That's, that's what I'm getting, interesting messages here. Um, for those of you who are kind of searching, there is a, this energy when it comes to romantic love life. I do see you possibly thinking about uh, choosing between two people here. I do see um, energy of going out, dating around. Oh, yes, definitely choosing between you two people. Look at this. You have this triangle in energy. So you and another two people here and indecisions. You are choosing between two. Choosing between two, choosing between two, could be Sagittarius and Aquarius here. I do feel that uh, you're looking for somebody who is um, a long-term potential. I do see you being playful and just going out on the dates, trying to make your decision here. Um, I feel like, oh my gosh, look at this. And two of pentacles. You are definitely, you could be seeing two people at the same time. And I'm not saying, you know, in any um vicious way or anything i just feel like you're trying to get to know two different people you could be dating around at this time i don't necessarily see you cheating on anybody not nothing like that i just feel like you are choosing between two you could be you know getting to know two people at the same time and trying to make a choice here that's what i'm seeing there is two options coming towards you very strong two options and you will be the one to make a decision here you have choices you have choices very two very strong choices here you're a little indecisive you need to get to know them better to make a proper choice that's what i'm seeing lots of dates coming out here for you in april first half of april all right let's see what is this change and uh, purity Three of Swords, Queen of Swords, wow, King of Swords, <laughs> King of Cups, and Four of Swords. 
I'm getting healing here for you. I am definitely getting a healing after uh, a difficult uh, romantic uh, connection that uh, br uh, brought you pain. There could have been definitely three people involved here. There could have been you. Um, I will say that could have, you could have been dealing with somebody who was married here. Or this uh, other person just had somebody else that you didn't even know about. I am getting a uh, very strong energy of two air signs and then your energy of a cancer here. Um, it does feel like a third party situation here. It does feel like a third party situation, something that came out here, the, the truth came out and you're putting in the change to this, you're putting an end to it. But the four of swords, you're definitely healing. I love to see three of swords following by four of swords because that means that you're overcoming this heartache and you're healing from it. You're disconnecting from the situation here, this third party situation. You're bringing the change, you're purifying your energy here, completely you know, leaving this in the past and just taking some time for yourself healing that's what's in the cards here for you this is what i'm seeing cancer these are the messages that came through for you today i truly hope this reading was helpful thank you so much for spending your time with me and i hope to talk to you soon bye for now